Welcome to today's tutorial. I'm going to demonstrate the easiest way to plan a two wind plan case. And of course, we'll be using the Blue Sky Plan software. We'll be using the Wizard, a streamlined workflow designed to be almost completely automatic. Your role is to simply review the AI generated proposals, confirm the steps, and of course, make any tweaks necessary along the way. Best of all, the entire design process is completely free. You only pay when you're ready to manufacture with export fees starting at around $17 per case. By using a surgical guide, you ensure the highest level of patient care while increasing predictability and significantly reducing chair time. Let's get started. We'll be using the latest version of the Blue Sky Plan software version 5.0.29. If you're using an older version, simply go to help, check for updates to update to the latest version. We're going to start the process by clicking implant planning and surgical guides. We're going to select the option for one, two implant wizard. We're going to, of course, associate this case with our patient for organized patient data. We're going to enter a unique patient identifier and then click the Create button. Our treatment is automatically created for us. We could review and edit if necessary. Select the relevant jaw and then click the Next button to proceed. We're now being prompted to load the patient CT scan. Navigate to location on your computer for the relevant scan. You could use the buttons in the horizontal toolbar for quick access. Our DICOM file for this case is a zipped file, which is totally fine. We'll select it and click the OK button. Select the relevant series. In our situation, we only have one. And then click OK. You could define the relevant field of view in order to maximize the relevant area and to reduce the needed processing power for your computer. Simply grab and drag any of the margins with your left mouse button to adjust accordingly. We could see on the right side of the screen that we have an ad for free surgical guides. Blue Sky Bio is offering a free surgical guide for your single Blue Sky Bio implant cases. And I'll post the link so you could see more information. After you've identified the relevant field of view, simply click the OK button. We could see a preview of the CT scan on the right side of the screen. We could toggle on and off. And if we realized that we've loaded the wrong CT scan, click the red X and select the proper CT scan. I'm going to click import optical scan to select the relevant optical scan. Preview on the right side of the screen. You could use your left mouse button to grab and drag and rotate and then click the OK button. We can see a preview of the optical scan on the right side of the screen. Again, you can use your left mouse button to grab and rotate and your right mouse button while moving your mouse forwards and backwards in order to zoom in and zoom out. Once you've selected the relevant files, go ahead and click on the next button. The software is now importing the relevant data. We're being prompted to select the import type in our situation and most situations it's model STL as we have selected and the kit type Blue Sky Bio fully guided surgical kit. Of course, Blue Sky Bio has more than 80 different implant systems loaded into the software. So if you are, for whatever reason, using a different implant system, then go ahead and select the relevant kit. Once you've confirmed the selection of the import type and the kit type, Go ahead and click on OK to start the wizard process. The software has automatically identified the nerves. In our situation, we're dealing with a maxilla case, so we're just going to click the maxilla button right here. The software is now automatically aligning the model scan, the optical scan, to the CT scan. There's no need to select any points or mark any teeth. The process is completely automatic. And once again, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be 
confirming before continuing. So we could see in our 2D slices the outline of our optical scan. I'll zoom in with my right mouse button, grab the scene with the wheel of my mouse by holding it down, and recenter. As we get closer to the occlusion, we could see that the outline of the optical scan tightly wraps around the teeth, indicating the accuracy of the merge. We could see the same thing in our cross section view. As we go around the arch, indicated by the multicolor lines, we could see that the outline of the optical scan wraps tightly around the teeth. We're going to click Next to continue. We're going to be planning implants for teeth numbers 12 and 13. We're going to add one at a time the relevant implants, and we're going to have an AI tooth automatically generated for the desired location. So we see that we have automatically create AI tooth tab selected. We also have the option of selecting a, a tooth from the catalog, but we're going to use the AI tooth option, and we're going to click the implant button to select the relevant implant. We're going to take advantage of the Blue Sky Bio implant system, the Biomax implants, and we'll select a 4.3 by 10 millimeter implant. Once we've confirmed the selection, we're going to go ahead and click on OK. And then we will click OK again to confirm the tooth as well. The software is now automatically designing an AI-generated tooth and will place the implant along with the tooth. OK, we could use our left mouse button to rotate. We could see the tooth has been placed along with the implant. And we have our tooth and our implant placed. Since this is a two implant case, we're going to click position crowns. The software is asking us if we want to remove what we have or keep existing and add new, which is what we're going to do. So we're going to click keep existing and add new, select the relevant tooth, select the relevant implant, and then click the OK button. The software is now automatically generating the AI tooth and placing the implant. OK, we could see our AI generated teeth, our implants placed, and now we're going to click Next. On the left side of the screen, we could see our 3D view. And on the right side of the screen, we have our tangential view. We could use the slider to rotate 360 degrees around the selected active implant, which we could see is highlighted in pink. We're going to start and review the positioning of this implant. We could use the slider or the wheel of our mouse by scrolling the wheel of our mouse to rotate 360 degrees around the implant. We could improve the implant positioning if necessary simply by using the left mouse button to grab and drag the implant. We could improve and modify the angulation by using our left mouse button to grab the widget and just rotating accordingly. We could also use the arrows on our keyboard to tap, the, to tap and move the implant in the relevant direction. I'm going to now click on the second implant. We could once again rotate as needed. If we want to make this implant a bit shorter, we could simply right click, choose replace, and then select the updated implant size and click the OK button. We now can see that we've replaced this implant with a shorter implant. Once we've confirmed and finalized the implant positioning, we could continue by pressing the Next button. We can see now that the surgical guide curve has been automatically drawn for us. Once again, we're going to confirm and tweak as necessary. If we see that the implant positioning needs to be updated, we could simply click the previous button to return to the previous step and make any updates to the implant positioning. Make sure the surgical guide curve goes completely around the relevant areas, it has no sharp points. And once you've confirmed that, simply click the next button. 
The surgical guide has now been created. We could see that the vertical axis of the implants go through the center of each relevant osteotomy hole. At this point, and in the previous step as well, the implants are automatically locked to make sure we don't move them accidentally while reviewing the case. If needed, we can right click and choose unlock implant. We are now going to proceed to the final steps of just saving the case and the relevant information by clicking next. We're going to choose the location where the case, the surgical guide and the report should be saved. So I'm going to go back to my patient folder. I'll click new folder to create a subfolder and I will call this completed data, press enter and then click the OK button. Now the project is being saved to that location, and the surgical guide has been exported and saved there as well. Would you like to complete the case approval form before sending? If you are sending this case to somebody else and you would just like to confirm the planning in the surgical guide, you could go ahead and do so. Otherwise, there's no need. And there was the checkbox for don't show me again which you could take advantage of if relevant. We now have an order form to have your surgical guide manufactured show up automatically on screen. If you're gonna be manufacturing in-house, just go ahead and X this out to close it. If you would like to have the surgical guide manufactured for you, simply click the prescription form and send, and the surgical guide will be manufactured and delivered. And finally, the software is asking where the case report should be saved. So once again, we'll return back to that same folder and then click OK. The case report has been saved to that location and we could see a preview on our screen as well. So notification on screen tells us the report has been saved. We can also click open folder to see the relevant folder and the relevant data. If you have any questions regarding this flow, email us at plan at blueskybio.com or post to the Blue Sky Bio user Facebook group and just let us know if anything's unclear.